Welcome. This is Teacher Richard with you today, and we are going to be talking about some polygons. By now, you should have watched the recommended video in this module, uh, which is uh, the polygon intro. And if you watch that, then these polygons that you see on the screen here should be familiar to you. We are going to focus on the triangle. Sometimes we use some of these polygons in trig solutions, but we have to start with the triangle. Here we have a triangle. It is a right triangle for a couple of reasons. One is it's labeled down here as a right triangle, and we know it's a right triangle when we have a vertical line as we have here that's drawn perpendicular to this baseline and that creates a 90 degree corner. Anytime we know that's a 90 degree corner, we know we have a right triangle. So in the absence of this label here, 90 degree corner, or this label right triangle, if we see that little box drawn in there, that tells us, tells us that this is a right triangle. And the sum of all angles in any triangle is 180 degrees. So if we know that the sum of all three angles is 180 and we subtract this 90 degree corner down here then we are left with a 90 degree value divided up between angle A and angle B. So to solve for an unknown angle we use the angle sum principle and we take the given value of angle A, which is 35 degrees, and subtract it from 90 degrees to arrive at the value for angle B. So under the solution here, we restate the fact that the given angle A is 35 degrees, and the solution for angle B is 90 degrees minus 35 degrees. And the answer is 55 degrees angle B value. And that's about about it. Now we can go and take it a little bit more difficult by adding minutes. So we have, now we have degrees and minutes to deal with. So angle A again is a given value. It's 32 degrees 24 minutes and we're going to subtract that from 90 degrees. So angle A equals 32 degrees 24 minutes. The solution for angle B, the unknown angle, is 90 degrees minus 32 degrees, 24 minutes. So we write down the 90 degrees, 0 minutes. And then to facilitate the subtraction, we take 1 degree away from 90 and write it down here as 89. We take that 1 degree and we write it down here as 60 minutes. So now we have two angles right here. The 90 degrees and the 89 degrees 60 minutes are both identical equal angles. They're just written in a different format. Now we can do the subtraction 32 degrees 24 minutes and the answer is 57 degrees 36 minutes for the value of angle B. Now we go up one more notch in difficulty and we add degrees, minutes, and seconds. This time angle A is the unknown value and angle B is the given value. We restate the fact that angle B, the given angle, is 38 degrees, 42 minutes, 18 seconds. The solution for angle A, the unknown value, is 90 degrees minus 38 degrees, 42 minutes, 18 seconds. So again, we write down 90 degrees, 0 minutes, 0 seconds. We take 1 degree away from 90 and write it down here as 89. We take that 1 degree and convert it to minutes and write it down as 60 minutes because 1 degree equals 60 minutes. Then we go down to this line down here and we take 1 minute away from 60 and write it down as 59. And we take that one minute and write it down over here as 60 seconds. So the, 80, the 90 degrees, 0 minutes, 0 seconds, 
is identically equal to 89 degrees, 60 minutes, 0 seconds, and it's identically equivalent to 89 degrees, 59 minutes, 60 seconds. So all three of these angles, in, written in different formats, are all identical 90 degree values. Now we can do our subtraction. We subtract 38 degrees, 42 minutes, 18 seconds, and we get an answer of 51 degrees, 17 minutes, 42 seconds for the value of angle A. This is called the paper and pencil method. Later on in the program, we will be doing this type of a calculation with our calculator. Now sometimes we are presented with triangles that are not right triangles. I always like to work with right triangles. So when I have a, a triangle that's represented like this one here with the thick outline and it's not a right triangle, I add geometry to create a right triangle. In this case, I added this line right here. It's perpendicular to the base, and it intersects with these other two lines. So there's three lines right up in here that are intersecting with each other. By doing that, creating this line perpendicular to this, this that makes each side, or each corner in each side of the center line, a 90 degree corner and it makes this angle and this angle identically equal because this larger angle is being bisected. So the result is that we have two identical right triangles on each side of that center line. They're both identical. So now all we have to do if we have a trig problem and we have values to fill in for a right triangle, we always need two known values to solve for the rest of the unknown information. So we fill in what we know either an angle or sides, and then we proceed with our, with our math to solve for the unknown values. But the point here is that we've created right triangles out of something that was not a right triangle. So that's it for this presentation. Thanks for watching. This presentation is available in the module file as a PDF file. You're welcome to print that out and read it, keep it in your notebook, or do whatever you'd like with it. And uh, there will be a uh, little quiz in there that you'll see that you can do. You'll have to print out the quiz paper, figure out your solutions, and then fill in the answers on the uh, Blackboard assignment sheet. See you next time.